Hello commanders and welcome in many of this gaming in a new Conflict of Nations series. After the vote, the fans have chosen the United States of America. We are going to aim to build the strongest and the biggest empire in the history of Conflict of Nations World War 3. The last series was a little bit sad for us because we lost at the final stages of the game against an active strong European coalition but today we are not going to do the same mistake twice we are going to learn from our mistakes and fix everything through this series of the United States of America and also I'm going on an aggressive mode in this game aggressive mode because I'm going to try to break all of my enemies very early in the game and never give them the chance to grow bigger. Also, I am going to try a new strategy in this game. A build that I have never ever used before. The aircraft carriers and the stealth technology as I am going to build the deadliest aircraft combo there is. I've seen this strategy in the battle royale. Actually, I have lost against this strategy and today I want to use it and learn from it and apply it through the United States of America series. All you need to do is subscribe to our YouTube channel, join our Discord server and of course support us in the comment section and let's exchange the strategies, the ideas and everything through the comment section. So here, let's focus on our game. The United States of America, yes, it is the strongest, the biggest nation, but it is very tricky and complicated because we have two, three large neighbors, one in the north, Canada, and in the south, we are going to have Cuba, which is right down our coast, and also we have Mexico. Playing in solo with the United States of America will make us in a bad situation because if we are going to attack Canada in the north, we will have our back unprotected and Mexico can take the chance and take us down. And we, if we do the contrary and go for Mexico, Canada can do the same. So here I'm going to show you how to attack Canada safely without getting your back defeated, without getting betrayed in your back and backstabbed. The most important thing here is to monitor your enemies. Let's see who is active and who is inactive in this case. If we are going to find someone who is inactive, we can report him for later. We can keep him there, not attack him, not use our time and our resources and our hit points on him and go straight to the active player. Destroy him. The first thing, fast problems need fast solutions. Like usual, spamming National Guards early at the game to secure our coasts and get as much units as possible in a defensive position. We are not going to throw our units very early in the game as we are going to stay defensive. Also, we need some ships to secure our coasts. And the best one here, let's start with the frigates. In the Chilean Empire, we did not do frigates and that was a big mistake. We only relied on cruisers and our cruisers were annihilated with cruise missiles. But today, not again. We are going to start with the frigates, uh, secure our coasts, later on we will upgrade to the cruisers, build a decent strong navy and after that we will go to the aircraft carriers because aircraft carriers need to be, needs to be um, escorted with strong navy. You know what I mean? It needs to be escorted because aircraft carriers, they do not have strong abilities in naval warfare. So you need to escort it with other surface vessels or submarines or something that is very important and strong in naval battles. Now let's start preparing our troops and armies on the borders with Canada. I am going to escort all of my uh, forces from uh, Hawaii and uh, Anchorage to the city of, um, of Portland. Later on, I'm going to start a large scale invasion on Canada. You can see that Canada, he is the active player here. He is building army bases, air bases everywhere, but luckily for us, Mexico is inactive. This is good. I do not need to uh, keep defenses there as long as Mexico is inactive and I'm going to send this recon division to the north on our borders with Canada because I want to attack with as much possible units 
yeah. with as much units as possible. This is very important to finish this war very quickly because Canada is very big and it's literally going to take a while until we take all of those lands because there are a lot of uh, ice, lands and mountains and these mountains uh, make our units move slow, very slow. This is very annoying. This is why National Guards, they can be the key to this kind of battles because you can launch a lot of National Guards to different directions and you can take those lands very quickly. I'm going to assemble my stacks like usual. I always tell you to assemble your stacks before invading any country. Never attack with scattered units, two or three units. This is not good. You will lose them uh, along the way. Uh, so the good thing here is to assemble units of eight, seven, nine, ten units. This is going to be good early at the game. Uh, the research of the frigates has been done. The level two naval bases are ready. And now I started building the frigates. I chose three. Um, I chose three naval cities. Naval cities that are going to be New Orleans, San Francisco, and um, and uh, New York. Because one in the west coast, one in the east coast, and one in the Mexican Bay and the Mexican uh, coast there. Because these three points that are very strategic and very important here. To have a naval presence in both the, the Atlantic Ocean and the Pacific Ocean also. Choosing the strategy with the United States of America is a little bit tricky and uh, complicated. Why? Because you have a good resources production, yet your nation is very big. I guess that uh, heavy bombers and naval patrol aircrafts, they are going to be useful when playing with the uh, United States of America. But the Air Force combo, the Air Force combo that I, I am aiming to make, is not going to be heavy bombers. It's going to be something else that have stealth technology and also i'd like to make the cruise missiles as well because the cruise missiles they are going to be lethal with our navies and also with our air force i hope we survive the first 10 days in this game i hope the south america does not try to make surprises and attack me very quickly if because if they do that i am going to suffer Seriously, because even if I win, my I am going to lose my homeland cities and that is going to cripple my uh, economy. So I need to play it safe. Like seriously, I do not, I cannot afford to lose twice consecutively. This is very sad. I don't want to lose twice. Last time we lost with Chile. Okay, now with the United States, no. No thanks, I'm not going to lose. Today I'm going on a beast mode. I'm not going to sleep. Sleeping, I'm going to forget about it during this game. No more sleep, I'm becoming a robot now. That's it. No more European coalition attacking me in the night. No more cruisers being uh, defeated. No more uh, heavy bombers coming from Africa. No, no thanks. Today, we are going to be the strongest. Okay, our armies, they are ready now and uh, it's the time for the invasion. Uh, still in preparations though, I built a pontoon near uh, the capital of, uh, of uh, Canada because there is a river that uh, split us and uh, keep us apart. So I need to build that pontoon to be able to disembark through that river and get straight to his capital. Uh, our recon divisions, they are ready on the borders. Uh, I kept some National Guards in the city of uh, San Francisco because you never know, you never know. Even if Mexico appears inactive, he can make a surprise or something there. We cannot afford any surprises. Okay, start. Uh, I am going to start patrolling with my air security fighter near his city to see if he have uh, some uh, land defenses there. This is the pontoon near his capital, Montreal. Because that pontoon is going to give us a way to both of his cities, Montreal and Toronto. And Canada took the city of Quebec. This proves more that Canada is active and he is daily on the game. Now we are in day four. And also we are at the end of the first episode of the American Empire series. Don't forget guys to activate the ring bell. Because like that you will receive all of our newer and newest and latest episodes. Don't miss the United States series because it's gonna be fun. See you guys and bye bye.